Hello everybody, this is Press Sketches and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a little Procreate tutorial I did um, for my piece inspired by the band The Sea in the Sky. And so it is about a girl who is trying to touch the sea that is in the sky. So she climbs on a really high hill and reaches for the sky. And when she sees all the fish, there is one brave fish who tries to come down and greet her. And so in this part of the piece, I'm trying to figure out how I want her gestured and which view of her that I want. So I didn't want a direct profile view. I wanted a kind of a quarter view. So I was figuring that out. And at this time, I'm trying to figure out what kind of hair she wants. And after I get the anatomy down, I go ahead and I sketch some loose clothing over her and I chose these more baggier clothes to kind of emphasize the fact that she's like a small child and that um, clothes are a little bit bigger on her. And what else I wanted to do for this piece, eventually I do change her hair because it starts running into the clouds, but at first I wanted this to be an originally like a white background piece and then I decided to put it as if she was standing on a hill so that will come later. Right now I'm trying to decide how I want her face and her hair. And so I'm doing line art for that and that will eventually change. I moved her over to fix the composition of the piece because I felt like she was pushed too much towards the left. And so I just moved her over and I also fixed the size of her feet. And right now I'm going through different types of hairstyles. At first I wanted it to seem like the water was already dripping on her and then eventually I realized that that didn't make a lot of sense. So I fixed that later by changing her hairstyle. And at this point I'm sketching fish in different views and at first I started off with a lot of different types of fish. But then I kind of realized that I wanted to have like this very similar family of fish, like a really big school of fish that were all of the same kind. And that there was one brave little fish that came down to say hello to her as well. And she, out of her curiosity, she was kind of reaching up towards it. And then right here, I'm kind of deciding what I want as the environment. So I put a little step where she would look like she was coming up from a hill and then again I said that her hair started to run into the clouds so I erased it and worked on the clothing a little bit more and then I decided to fix the hair after that. So I experimented with like short hair, I took a break from doing the hair and added some shoes just to give it a little bit extra Then I went back eventually and figured out what I actually wanted to do. And so I chose that texture because it looked a little bit more sharp than the clouds, which I kept very puffy to kind of separate the forms a little bit more. All right, so for this one, I chose to do very minimal um, line work. I was trying to go off of Pixar's keyframe illustration style where they kind of do this stylized painterly color scheme. So that's really what I was going for. And right now all I'm doing is I'm painting technically over the line work, but then I'll keep putting the line work back over that layer just to paint under it. And then um, I'll move the color layer on top of the line art when I want to fix the edges. And so that's basically all I'm doing right now is the flats. The water took me a long time to figure out. So you'll see me mess up on that a couple times because I haven't painted water a lot recently. So I'm experimenting with different um, textures, different colors, different light sources. And smoothing it out and then making it rough again and eventually... I think I decided on this, I might come back and smooth it out a little bit more, but I took a break just so I can work on the fish. And so the fish have three different layers, so I have a top layer, a medium, like a back layer, and a middle layer, and as it goes backwards, I lowered the opacity just to see, seem like that the fish were going um, farther back in space.
and right here I'm filling in the clouds and so I did the same exact method with the clouds I pushed the clouds back a little bit more and so they got more opaque as they went back in space and for the rock shadows I just put on a muted brown tone and put it on a multiply layer and then did a gradient of blue and right now i'm adding some basic core shadows and then i will soften them up later with some mid-tone shadows also right here i'm adding some line art and then i will add some blush and put it on a multiply layer i'm also trying to figure out what color i would want the sweater to be because I did want it to contrast against the background but I didn't know if I wanted it to be the exact same color as the fish because then I thought that was too forced so I made it a slightly more muted um, red orange versus the orange that the fish have in them and right here I'm adding some shading to the fish I also experimented with changing the sky color to see if I wanted it to be more sunset but later I decided that I didn't really like that that much because it gave it too much orange and she didn't push out enough against the background so I changed it back. I also put an add layer on top of some of the fish to make it look like they were glowing and I put this water texture over the water to make it seem more like actual water. And that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you need to know what I did towards the end is I just added um, a painted color texture and a paper texture over it to give it a little bit more roughness. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much.